Hey, I'm Claudio Zavala Jr. And today let's dig into choosing photos for templates in Creative Cloud Express. Be sure to hit subscribe and get all our helpful YouTube tips. Here I am at the home screen of Creative Cloud Express. As you can see here, I can go ahead and start a new project by choosing one of these templates that are available here over thousands of templates here. Let's say I wanna to go to an Instagram story over 5,000 templates here. Let's take a look at Instagram posts. You can choose from over 12,000 Facebook posts, posters. If you want to create a logo, there are templates that you can use to start off and create your own logo, flyers, collages, book covers, album covers. Let's scroll over here to the right. I can see menus, invitations, YouTube thumbnails. So if you've got a YouTube channel, here's a great place to choose a template to start from. But today we're going to specifically work on one type of template and we're going to choose a Facebook post. So let's go ahead and start right there and create a new project. We're going to be making a real estate post for Facebook and we're going to be using one of these templates here. So what I'm going to do here is click in this little search area. As you can see right now, it's showing me there are over 2,900 Facebook templates that I can use here. So we're going to type in real estate in this little area, which is our search box and I'll hit enter and it's going to give me real estate themed Facebook posts that I can use to start off for this template. And now what I'm going to do is search through all the different ones that I can see here, find the one that I think I want to use, and I'm going to go with this home for sale one. I like the blue color. What did you think of the template I chose? Leave me a comment and let me know why you would have picked a different one. Now what I'm going to do is look for a photo to swap this one out. And what I'll do here is click on the photos tab on the left that will allow me to either search for photos or upload. So uploading photo is something that I can do is add a photo from my computer or an external hard drive, something connected to my computer. And then there's an option of Adobe Stock Photos. But what is Adobe Stock Photos? Adobe offers stock photos, both paid and free, so you can use them in your projects. We have options for around the globe. And then there's some featured free option photos. These are photos you can use for free from Adobe Stock. Now what I'm going to do is click right here where it says my stock photos and actually click on see all. And I have the option of different real estate photos here that I found for my project. What I'm going to do is swap it out or actually click and drag this over here into my project because I like this picture more than the one that's in my project. Now what I'm going to do is a little editing here. First off, I will close off the photos tab there. Give me some more room to view. And also down here at the bottom, I'm going to zoom out just so I can see the whole project in view here. Now I'm able to edit this image. When selected, you'll see the right-hand side edit image menu show up. First off, I'm going to grab one of these handles and drag it diagonally to increase the size so we can see it in its entirety. Basically what I want to do is cover up the older image. And now I'm going to go through here and show you some of the options you have in the edit image. I can remove background, which I won't do in this case, but it'll use algorithms to remove parts of this picture. I can decrease the opacity. I can flip it horizontally and so forth. But what I want to do is click on crop and shape because I do want to crop this image so that it will basically cover the older image. And what I'll do is choose free form. You could also choose ratios and shapes, but here what we'll do is we'll drag it from the left and basically cover up the old image. And once I'm okay with it, I will choose the done check mark and the image should be replaced with the other one. Now that I'm done working on this project, we'll go ahead and close the edit option and either choose to download or share. Now, download lets you save your work as an image to your computer and the share button lets you collaborate with others or share your template. Today, we will download our image for Facebook. Now, the reason we're going to download this as an image is because I need to upload it to Facebook and I don't wanna share it, I wanna post it, so we need an image. And that's how easily I can promote my business with Creative Cloud Express. Since you subscribe to this channel, you'll get tips like this weekly so you can create more, better, faster. Thanks and see you next time.